Hey guys, Snowflake here, and welcome to episode 2 of Football Manager 2017, my Lame to Fame episode, well, the last episode of Lame to Fame started with me being unemployed, and I'm now employed, as you can see, by Arsenal Kiev. We got off to a great start to our league season, we were thrown straight into it. He won 3 1 away against Poltava with my new striker Igor Koshman scoring two goals on his debut. Hopefully, in our next match against Naftovic Ukrunafta, we can continue that. And just at the end of the last episode, we confirmed the signing of this guy, Artur Gushin. Seems like an okay player. Some backup up front. Uh, we'll talk to our captain to get him to sell in and everything. Standard stuff. And carrying on. I think it was a deserved 3 1 win as well against Poltara. We played pretty good football, even though they did get a player sent off. But we were already 2 1 up at that point. Alright, just. It seems everyone else is in pre season, judging by the friendly matches being played there. Yeah, I wasn't given any pre season at all. Just here's a team, go win some games. Alright, so it seems we've got a week's break. Alright, we've got a scout report for this guy, Alexander Brill. Doesn't look like the best player, to be perfectly honest. Um, what's this? Sandekja have offered a contract to Arta Casco. Is this someone we tried to sign? Yeah. Who's trying to hijack us? Who is this team? Polish First Division team. Well, hopefully a guy picks us. Oh, we can unveil our new signings. Uh, let me just remind everyone who they are. So this is Igor Koshman, our new star striker, who scored two goals in his debut. Anton Malenko, another striker. Actually, I bought three strikers, didn't I? Yeah, Arte Gushin. All pretty solid players. Some with some room to improve, but it's fine. We did have didn't have that many strikers before, so uh, yep, yeah, I'm delighted to be able to welcome them. It will change my style of play. I'm not going to tell you my tactics. Will I need to sell players? Uh, let's just say no. Yes, I was surprised that he was released, as he is, can go a long way. Can he be the difference between success and failure? Well, Koshman was the difference between success and failure last match. So I'll say yes. Can he produce when it matters in the big games? Yeah, I'm pretty confident. What is the relationship between us? Well, I offered him a contract and he said yes. So. Yeah, what impact will this have on the rest of the squad? Massive boost. So they only asked me about Koshman, which is understandable since he scored twice. In the last game, and the other guys didn't play. Yeah, must be a bit weird for the others being left out of their team. Or left out of the questions in the press conference, should I say? Alright. Just looking at the results, see if there's anything interesting. Alright, some new news here. So, some reaction to our win over Poltava. Great result, showing how important it is to look after the wall, probably. Good display of possession football. Yeah, I guess that was it. Koshman was always going to look good with everyone else around him, not up to his level. <laughs> it's a bit harsh. Uh, that was quite special from Koshman. Let's have that sort of performance every game. Yep. And then on his debut, a fine debut, caught the eye immediately. Let's not go overboard. 
What a player he looks. Some reaction to our signing of Gushin. If he hits it off, we'll play the blinder. We'll look back with regret on this. Oh, not a very enthusiastic guy there. Low risk move that might or might not work out. Fair enough. Uh, that's it. Let's see. Uh, 115 season tickets. It's not bad, I suppose. I have no idea what I should be comparing it to. And then report on Naftovic Ukrainafta. Oh, it looks like we've just got a new manager as well. So, two new managers up against each other, I guess. But we're at home and we won our first game. It doesn't look like they did because they're 13th in the league after one game. So we'll see. We'll see. Alright. I like keeping an eye on my favourite teams, Man United and Galatasaray. So that will be explained why there's some Galatasaray related news there. So four days till the match begins. Not much happening until then. I guess we're still waiting on that guy to see if he signs for us and not the Polish first division team. It's taking a while to process. I have a fair amount of leagues loaded, so that's probably why it's taking so long. Okay, so some agents offering me this guy, Yegor Demchenko. Um, I think I'll scout him before I risk getting an 18 year old. Um, right, so some players to scout. We've got Oleksiy Kovtun. Oh, looks like. Someone's already offered for him. Um, but we're still going to scout him first. Um, who's offered for him? Does not tell you anymore. Oh, okay, we'll tell you here. Ilichevets, who also in our league, I think. Uh, Andri Kanyuk. Vasil Sagaitek. Hot prospects as well, Mikita Filatov, Mikola Arnauta, and Sarkhan Alakverdiev. Uh, players to scout to replace aging players, Andriy Savchenko. Very close to Andriy Shevchenko, old Ukrainian legend. This guy's a non-striker though, unfortunately. Oleksiy Prilipov and Volodymyr Naiko. All right, all free agents, which is good because we don't have any money to spend. Uh, Debchenko, yeah, that's why you scout players before you buy them. This guy's not very good. Kovtun, mm, seems like a good player. Scout didn't give that much information, but we'll try and sign him. Um, oh, he wants to play in the first team. Okay, sure. I think we can give him that if he joins. We don't have many great centre backs. Yeah, we played with Billy and Karpenko. They were okay, but we could do a bit better perhaps with Kovtun. Um, oh, he wants me to give him an offer first. Uh, Let's just give him 325 a week. I hate making the first offer. 
Right, there you go. Hopefully that means he picks us over that other team, because we could use another defender. And we're three days away from the big game. Naftovic. I don't know if that Ukrainafta part is supposed to mean Ukrainian. In like Ukrainian. Just look it up. Find out some interesting things about Ukraine. Oh, Ukrainafta is the name of a company that owns it. Fair enough. All right, two days left. Um, got some news. Just wait for it to load on the screen. Igor Skobar unhappy with a lack of depth for midfield. Uh, sorry, dude, I'm trying my best. Some tutoring. Denis Odjuku to be tutored by Sergei Karpenko. Yep, let's just go for that. That's good. Got Andrei Dombrovsky to be tutored by Alexey Kikoreshko. Yeah, I guess we can do that too. Yep, and Georgi Kopalani to be tutored by Dimitro Ivanov. Sure thing. And high potential players. We've got Gleb Bukal, Marian Litovchak. And Anton Malenko. Report on this guy Kanyuk. Not very good. Let's not offer for him. Sagaidak, centre back. He seems good. Again, not too much detail. But... Okay, hot prospects. Promise will allow the player to treat the club as a stepping stone. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> we have to agree to let him leave if someone better wants him. It's not really the attitude you go to when you offer want a job, do you? We'll send player an intensive language course. Wait, he's from Ukraine and he can't speak Ukrainian. Interesting. All right, I hope that's to his uh, liking. News broke out about my offer for Covton. I think he'll be a success. Just had to strengthen events. Fingers crossed he can bring an improvement at centre back. Alright, so Sagaidak wants that much. We don't have that much to offer him. Yeah, this might not go too well. Yep, we're not getting him. Okay. Guess we're out of money. Two days to go till we face Naftovic. Maybe we gave that Colton guy a bit too much money and now we can't buy anyone else. I hope that's not the case, but I really, yeah, it's annoying when that agent makes you make the first offer. Alright, next one day to go. Uh, Filatov, not a very good goalkeeper. And Arnauta is not a very good player either. So we won't offer those. More news has come through. No, no, it's the same news. No mind. I'm just itching for the match to start, to be honest. I don't think we'll, any of the players we've offered for will come in before this match, but given the match we just played, 
may we may not need more players. Uh, let's see. Okay, so that Kaskov guy did join the Polish side ahead of us, unfortunately. Okay, so pre-match report. We should switch to four-two-three-one wide. Okay, I guess we can try that. Change from standard to control. I'm not sure what this means, but we'll do it. Flexible to fluid. Again, don't know what this means, so let's just do it. Uh, fitness concerns. Ivanov, Kostyuchenko, and Semchuk need match fitness. Don't think any of them will play. Team instructions. Roam from positions. Reason would improve our chances of a result. Well, I'd hope that's what you're aiming for. Okay, brace for low turnout. Hmm, that's a shame. Guess we've got to win games before fans start coming to watch us. We are favourites to win, at least. Um, yeah, Kaskov joined Sandic Jar. Alright, hope he does well there. But we have got this guy, Vadim Novikov, the young centre back. Alright, let's, let's seal that deal. Hopefully, he'll be available. Just looking him up. Well, if you look him up on Google, you get some guy playing a trumpet. Hmm. Interesting. All right, match day. Awesome. Oh, and actually Novikov is better than what my scout suggested. So he's two and a half current with three and a half potential. Good at marking. Good at marking again. But two-footed, but not very determined. Selfish, not ambitious, and can only play one position. And we'll take him. We'll take him. Uh, we'll get the captain to get him settled in. Okay, scout report, Alak Verdiev. Could retrain him as a defensive midfielder. Someone was complaining we didn't have enough midfielders, so let's try and sign this guy. We'll let him be a hot prospect, as he wants that to be promised to him. And Savchenko, oh, this guy's a good player. Can we retrain as a centre mid? Let's try and sign him as well. He wants a promise of first team football. Well, if you're three and a half stars... You're pretty much going to get into the first team, Mr. Savchenko. Okay, and well, they want me to unveil Novikov. Cool. Delighted to welcome to the club. He can lead this club to glory. Well, that's it. Two questions. Can you imagine a press conference with only two questions? It would be a pretty pointless press conference. But I'm happy. It saves me some time. Just want to get into this game. On a side note, our next match will be in a midweek. Um, okay, we can sign Alak Vediev. It looks like we can offer him that money. So it looks like we'll sign him, Sarkhan Alak Vediev, but not before this match. Okay, and some reaction to our Novikov signing. Yes, great news. We won't always agree on transfers, but give him a chance. Pretty annoyed at this. All right. And the Alec video thing takes a lot for me to sit up and take notice, but this boy does just that. The kid's got it all. Okay, it's good news to hear. And the contract now for Savchenko. Uh, he wants a little bit too much. Oh, that's a shame. He would have been a good signing. We don't have the money to offer him. Oh, well. So, here it is. Our match against Naftovic. Ukhra Nafta will start. Change of formation. We played 4-4-2 against um, Poltava. We'll play a 4-2-3-1 in this game. And we'll play with Sitalo in goal once again with Majdanovic, Billy, Karpenko, and Skoba at the back. Menzega and Karkoshkin centre mid. Nazimi on the right, Chenenko on the left. Dombrovsky playing at Cam behind Koshman up front. 
think from the last game, sorry about that. Uh, from the last game, we've now got Liv Litovchak and Kikoreshko on the bench, along with Ivanov, Kostichenko, Dudarenko, Bukal, and Sanchuk. And let's just put all of those on the list as well, just in case. And we'll get this thing started. Once again, I hope you guys are able to see it. If you're not, I'll still provide commentary so you can see what's happening. Okay, so pre-match analysis, both teams are fairly evenly matched, and I think this will be a draw. I for one hope you are wrong, sir. So it looks like Naftovic have gone for a 4-4-2 formation. They've got Dankovic in goal, Vektomov, Boyarintsev, Loganov and Peradisti at the back, Lozovi, Sekolia, Pazic and Zaychuk in midfield, Lucerny and Pidna Benoy up front. Yochuk, Avaladze, Vasilyev, Antyuk, Sonde, Vlasyuk, and Wojt Sikowski on the bench. Alright, my assistant's not confident enough to offer tactical advice. That's a shame. Alright, team talk to go out there and carry on from where you finished last match, considering we won 3 1. I'd say that's a fair statement. Karpenko looking motivated. Which is great. Hopefully the others follow suit soon as we kick off this match. Looking forward to this one. Hopefully Koshman can keep scoring goals and lead us to glory. And it will be the away team who kick off Naftovic. Here is Vektomov now. Long ball looking for Pidna Benoy, he flicks it on, but it's straight that Billy will pass it back to Sitalo. Long ball by Sitalo. Alright. Now, well, I've got a notification that we've dropped down to third, but I'm not too bothered considering this is the second match of the season. Right, struggle to control possession, we need to try and maintain it. Fair enough. You're the boss. Right, 15 minutes in, nothing has happened so far. Gone offside for Koshman. Right, we've got a free kick for Billy, 21 minutes in. It's over the wall and it's a good save by Dankovic. Centre back stepping up to take the free kick. And it was a good effort by Billy, unlucky. The assistant complaining that we're not connecting with our crosses today. Right, 23 minutes. Dankovic, the Naftovic goalkeeper, will boot it. Pidna Benoit heads it on. Well, Billy's missed the head. Cherny with a great chance for Naftovic, but Sitalo makes a good save and it's a corner for Naftovic. Poor mistake by Billy not headering that ball, and that really should have been 1 0 to them. Zaychuk will take the corner. Out comes Sitalo. Great catch by the goalkeeper. He's come up clutch in the last couple of minutes there. Free kick now to Arsenal Kiev. Here's Chenenko giving it to Karl Koshkin. Menzega now goes for goal from distance and it's a good shot tipped over by Dankovic. Both sides starting to have some chances now. We've got a corner. It'll be Dombrovsky now to take. Headed away by Cherny, but it comes out to Nazimi. Finds Chernenko on the right. Can he get a cross in, though? He's stuck in the corner, but he's got his cross in. And Nazimi with a poor header, and Naftovic are able to clear. Right, 28 minutes in. Paradisti's throw to Zaychuk now for Naftovic. Long ball forward, headed on by Pidna Benoy, but it's easy for Billy to collect. Long ball by Karpenko. Vektomov heads it away. Now Lozovi has some space. 
looking for Pinder Benoy, but Karpenko intercepts. And Karpenko clears, but it's turned into a great pass to Nassimi, who drives forward for Arsenal Kiev. Nassimi, great run, goes for goal, but it's well wide. Would have been a great goal, but he saw the stars and could have maybe passed it there. Alright, the referee's given a free kick and Billy has been given a yellow card for us. Cheney plays a free kick short to Lozovyi. He shoots over from distance. Nothing to be worried about there for us. Alright, 32 minutes. Lozovyi's throw to Vektomov. Vektomov's cross. Billy heads it away. Comes out to Loganov, but Dombrovsky does well to win it back for us. Finds Nasimi on the right. Nasimi to Karkoshkin. Long ball, great long ball to find Koshman who's through, but he's put it wide. Great chance there for our new signing to get his third of the season. But he puts it wide. Ten minutes to half time. Still no no. We've probably been just about the better team. But we don't have a goal to show for it. Maybe now though the Karkoshkin corner. Headed away by Cheney, as far as Majdanovic, the captain of a long ball looking for Chernenko, but Dankovic, the goalkeeper, catches it. Uh, he'll take his time, the goalkeeper, recognising his team are under a bit of pressure. Long ball headed away by Karpenko, as far as Pazic, is Zaychuk for Naftovic to Cheney. Cheney holding the ball up, going back to Pazic. Cheney again, good ball for Pidna Benoit with a chance. Good save by Sitalo. And it's a corner for Naftovic. Five minutes to half time. Zaychuk will take. And Billy heads it away. Menzega heads it on. Logging off now to Zaychuk. Zaychuk plays it across the middle, finds Pidna Benoy, but the offside flag is up against Cherny. Even though he didn't touch the ball, the referee still deemed him interfering with play. Uh, one minute of added time for the first half. And it, that will be it. 0 0 at half time. We've probably been the better team, but not by that much. Team talk being we can still come out of this with a win today. Got a few players looking nervous, which is not good. But hopefully we can use our nerves as a positive to try and win the game as Arsenal Kiev kick off the second half. Menzega, good long balls, found Nasimi. Great run by Nasimi, but a last second tackle by Sokolia. Stops Nasimi in his tracks. Okay. Goals being scored elsewhere in the league. None here today. Throw for Naftovic now. Zaychuk will take to Peridisti. Back to Zaychuk. Peridisti again. Zaychuk. On the left hand side, they're looking for an option. It's a good ball by Peridisti to find Cherny. Pidna Benoy back to Cherny. Um, another shot by Pidna Benoy, but he's put it well wide. Nothing to worry about there. And cut straight to our goal kick, which Sitalo will take. Looking for Koshman up top. Header goes to Chernenko. Chernenko to Karkoshkin, who's here's Dombrovsky, back to Karkoshkin. Menzega now slides it in for Dombrovsky, and he squeezes it in. Arsenal Kiev take the lead, and it's Andrei Dombrovsky who scores his first goal of the season. And that's good news for us, and that sends us to the top of the league. I know I said I don't care about league position, but it's always nice to be top, isn't it? I think the goalkeeper maybe could have done better there, but no complaints from me as we take the lead. 55 minutes in. Now we have a ball again in the 58th minute. Great long ball by Nazemi. Koshman is through now. Can he make it two? Yes, he can. 
Igor Koshman makes it 2-0 to Arsenal Kiev. Fantastic pass by Navid Nasimi to pick him out. That's Koshman's third goal in two games. Not looking like a bad signing so far. Half an hour to go. We're still on the attack. We want more goals. Here's Karkoshkin. Menzego set up the first goal to Dombrovsky. Nasimi goes for goal from distance. Pretty poor effort straight at Dankovic. But playing with some confidence now. I'm sure those players who were nervous at half time will be doing all right now. Bilyi now shoots from a free kick and has gone well wide. But yeah, Naftovic looking like they're doing some damage limitation now. All right, Karpenko will head this long ball away. 63 minutes gone. Dombrovsky to Chernenko to Koshman. Passes it back to Karkoshin, who has to go back a bit to get it. Karpenko to Skoba. Chernenko to Dombrovsky. Menzega to Koshman in the, in the middle. About 30 yards from goal. Dombrovsky to Menzega. Slides it in for Nasimi. Great chance. And Nasimi tucks it away. Great finish. And what a fantastic second half this has been. Matt Nasimi with his first goal for the club. Another assist for Menzega. Naftovic react by making a change. Sekolia is replaced by Antioch. But it's a little too little too late for them. It's another three goals for us. We're looking on fire. 20 minutes to go. We can still get some more. Well, all we can concede is it's actually Naftovic who are on the attack. Lozovi's long ball and Cheney is through. Great chance for Cheney, but the straight at Sitello, who palms it behind for a corner. Pasic and Lozovi have been replaced now. Arvaladze and Vasiliev have come on for our opponents. As Menzega will head that corner away. All right. Uh, there's 13 minutes to go now. We've got free kick inside our own half. Karpenko plays it to Majdanovic. Menzega to Karkoshkin. Dombrovsky to Menzega. Koshman now. Holds it up. Goes back to Menzega. His pass is cleared away by Pidna Benoy. As far as Karpenko. Karkoshkin cleared by Alvaladze. Cherny now. Looking to break, but Karpenko has been great today. Takes it off him. And once again, it's us who are on the attack. Here's Karkoshkin to Skoba on the left. Long ball headed away as far as Karkoshkin. Menzega to Koshman. Dombrovsky. Karkoshkin back to Dombrovsky. Slides it through for Koshman. who gives it to Menzega. A curling effort from the edge of a box, which has hit the bar. And Naftovic will get it away. Vasilia with the clearance. Menzega, two assists already. Really deserved that one to go in. There's still time. Here he is now. 78th minute. Karl Koshkin, great ball. Chance for Dombrovsky, but it's saved by Dankovic, who collects. Good stuff so far. It's been a fantastic second half by us. And Cherny now with a free kick for Naftovic. Seven minutes to go. Zaychuk with a great ball. A good chance for Chetney. But Sitalo, who's also been really good when called upon, makes the save. A good catch to his left. Almost up. Time's almost up. And it's looking like a 3-0 win. We've got a trip by Loginov on Menzega. I have a yellow card for Naftovic, their first of the game with a minute to go for logging off. One minute added on. Doesn't look like there's going to be much. Let's see what happens in the last few seconds. Majdanovic with a throw to Nazimi. Here's Dombrovsky. And that is it. Comfortable 3 0 win at home to Naftovic. That's six goals in two games now. Dombrovsky, Koshman, and Nazimi with the goals. With a man of a match performance by Menzega with two assists. 
Uh, team talk, of course, a good win, boys. Well done. And now all those players who are nervous are either calm or confident, which is great. Also, a lot of passes completed by Menzo. You get 87 passes. Very good performance. And that leaves us joint top of the table. And of course, another point was our new signing, Koshman. Now has three goals in two games. And just have a flick through the other results. Not that I know who's good and who's not in this league, but. Yeah, good stuff. Um, yeah, Menzega, man of a match performance, two superb assists. He was really good, praising performance. Just say his passing was a joy to behold. He doesn't think he was that good. Hmm, that's strange. Um, I'll just say it impressed me, but if he thinks he can do better, can't wait to see it. I'd play a lot better if you just let me get on with it. All right. Menzega, a bit touchy there.